What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back, moving on to the next question. So two trains head directly towards each other. Train A departs from Montreal and heads towards Toronto at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. At the exact same time, train B departs from Toronto and heads to Montreal at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Montreal and Toronto are 500 kilometers apart. When do the trains pass each other? And then how far are they from Toronto when this happens, when they're passing each other? How far are both of them from Toronto? So to start this question off, I'm actually gonna show this in a diagram. So let's say Toronto is over here. Let's say Montreal is over here. And we're, we're uh, told that train A departs from Montreal to Toronto, from Montreal to Toronto at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. So train A is going this way. And then train B departs from Toronto and goes towards Montreal at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So train B is going this way. And then at some point in time over here, they're gonna pass each other. And notice that train A, the one that's going from Montreal, it's going at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. And then train B, the one going from Toronto, is going at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And then they start at the exact same time. So notice because this train here is going faster than this one, this one's gonna cover a longer distance than this one is when they do pass each other because they're gonna be traveling for the exact same amount of time when they pass here. So what we can do, we could introduce a new variable. We could say x equals the number of hours passed when trains pass each other. The number of hours that have passed when the trains pass each other. So how long have they both been traveling until the point where they pass each other, right? Because they start at both the same time. Now, we know distance equals speed times time. We know speed equals distance over time. We know time equals distance over speed. Right, we're obviously gonna be using these relations here. Now, the one that we can use, if we let x equal the number of hours that pass, we have the speeds Notice that we can create expressions for the distance of both of these trains, the distance that they both traveled. So notice that the distance that train A travels is going to be what? Speed, distance equals speed times time. So it's traveling at a speed of 120, and then it's traveled x hours. That's what we let the variable be. So notice that this distance here that train A is going to cover, it's going to equal 120x, like that. And then notice the same thing, the distance that train B is going to cover, it's going to be its speed times the time, so it's going to be 80x, like that. So this train's going to cover 120x, this train's going to cover 80x and then they're going to be passing each other there now we're told that the total distance from toronto to montreal is 500 kilometers so what we could do we could just say that 500 kilometers equals 80x plus 120x we can make an equation right because this is the distance train a travels this is the distance train b travels so the total distance for both of them has to equal that 500, right? We made that here, we made this equation. Notice that it's all in terms of one variable. So we'll have 500 equals 200x, divide both sides by 200, and we would get x equaling 2.5, two and a half hours. So after two and a half hours, the trains are passing each other. That is the answer to the first part of the question. So two after 2.5 hours, the trains 
pass each other. And you can actually test it just intuitively. If this train is going at 120 kilometers per hour and it travels for two and a half hours, then what's the distance going to be? It's going to be 120 times two and a half, which would give us what? Uh, 300 kilometers. So if this train, one more time, is traveling at 120 kilometers per hour and has traveled for two and a half hours, it's going to travel 300 kilometers. What about this train over here? Well, it's traveling at 80 kilometers per hour and it's traveled for two and a half hours. When you multiply these, you'd get 200 kilometers. And that's actually the answer to the second question. But I'll get to that in a sec. Notice travels 300, this train travels 200, and then notice that both of those distances add up to 500 kilometers. So it does make intuitive sense. And then the second question was, how far are they from Toronto when this happens? When they pass each other, how far are they from Toronto? Toronto is over here. Well, they're 200 kilometers from Toronto. So that there is the answer to the second part of the question. So they pass each other after two and a half hours, and they're 200 kilometers away from Toronto when this happens, 300 kilometers away from Montreal when this happens.